Remember that video I made just the other day where I was talking about the changes I was going to make at webintersect.com? Well, I done did them because I'm a man on a mission. Okay, so we removed the proprietary software, which was the Flash header. Web Intersect now has a tutorial, which is this video right here, to teach you how to put the HTML header in place of that Flash header. Now, while removing the Flash header, we have no more proprietary software at work inside of the system. So what I've done is I added the GNU GPL software license so it makes it free open source software that can never be made proprietary. It'll always be free and available for people who want to create social networks and learn how to create social networks from scratch. So I'm not going to let anybody else promote their social networking building systems that are PHP and MySQL based that are so similar to mine. I'm not going to let them promote from Web Intersect or developphp.com unless that tutor adds their applications directly into the Web Intersect software. Then I'll be more than happy to promote their work. Now I've got a little list here of seven things that I've done to change Web Intersect to make this version 1.3. And I'm going to quickly run through that list to tell you what the titles of all those things are that I changed after I list all those things off I'm gonna go into each one a little more in depth we'll go into the code and I'm gonna show you exactly what was done inside of the code which used to be version 1.2 to make it 1.3 now and all the things you see at play and in my next video I'm gonna show the process of downloading version 1.3 and installing it and how simple the installation instructions that I have are how quickly you can have this up and running for you and having people joining your site. Okay, now let's quickly discuss how I changed this flash header into an HTML header pretty easily without too much pain using the same exact logic we were using before. So you remember we had an SWF file in previous versions of Web Intersect where we had flash action script 3 calling out to a PHP file which was in this scripts folder called check user log. I kept the check user log page and so what I'm doing in each one of these files where I want to make sure that people see these login options up here I sank in a little bit of code and I'll show you what I did let's just go to the index file and they all work the same exact way at the very tippy top of the page first thing is I include once scripts check user log so instead of flash loading onto the web page and then calling out to check user log, we're just having the web page directly using PHP call out to check user log and run the mechanisms to see whether or not the user is logged in or not. So that's as simple as it is. And where the header comes in is let's open the header where the header template is the same file. This is the file that the flash SWF used to reside in and all I did you can see here I changed it out for an HTML header that has a CSS background on that table which is laid out right here you see background image style header BG that's in the style folder so I added some things to the style folder like that image that loads in behind this table so that way I can write on top of the table and put links and everything right on top of that image. <clears throat> and if you're in here in the header, you can uncomment this style sheet link and you'll see the way your buttons are supposed to look and everything. It'll render the style from your sheet. But you just keep that uncommented when it's running on your site. But when you're working on it in Dreamweaver Design View, you can uncomment that to get a better look at it, what things will actually look like so this header calls in login options login options are created within guess what file check user log so the check user log is set up just like it was before all it does is spit out log options now according to whether the user is logged in or not same way we were doing it for the flash header so that's how that works now the header template is being fed into every single page you can see here same way it was before include once header template so that loads that 
that HTML new he HTML header that renders the log options according to what the check user log returns. Now the cookie claiming which was number two on the list which was a very important security fix let's go to where was that login now in the old version 1.0 uh, 1.1 1 1.2 in the scripts folder we had login and log out I opted to put login and log out into the main root folder now so let's take a look at login Logout does the same exact thing it did before. It's just in a different folder. So we're not even going to look at that. Okay, so when we log in before, I'm not exactly sure what we were using as cookies. All of this is exactly the same. Exactly the same as it was before. But now it's a, a form. Instead of being in the header, in the flash header, where you log in it's now it's on its own page and it's its own form kinda like Facebook uh, YouTube develop PHP do that's how we chose to do it here for this format so here in the code you'll see when that form is posted and the person's logging in before we were setting cookie of I don't know where we were using I think we were using the ID and then maybe the user email or something like that but I wasn't I don't think I was using the password but now I'm using the ID and the password that way when the check user log script runs for the header log options we can use their password to log them in and they won't have that vulnerability to where somebody can change their cookie file within a Firefox plugin and impersonate another member so if you use the pass cookie there's no way at somebody and it's even hashed in this mode so it'll be a hashed password the person who wants to impersonate another member would actually have to know the user's password which so the user would have to tell the perpetrator their password in order for a malicious action to occur and the way it was before where it was vulnerable in the prior versions of web intersect is we were not setting a cookie of the password and we were just using the ID and something else and somebody could have changed their ID their ID cookie within a Firefox plugin and impersonated another member I had that problem with develop PHP and I had to squish it real quick uh, but using the pass cookie is something that we can use to rectify that because nobody knows anybody else's password unless some dummy tells another member their password then they deserve whatever they get bad happen to their account because they told somebody their password okay and number three was in profile.php which is the page that shows everybody's profile to visitors or people looking at profiles we changed we placed a check in here to make sure the user exists right here I commented it out real nice so this is all I added here and you can see in every page like I was telling you before <coughs> where I want to show the user log options I include once very first line that executes in the script I include once check user log.php remember here's the header let's see where's our header header templates being right here so it works just like the index page is with the header now this check is when the ID comes in before we didn't have a check in place we weren't counting the num rows from this MySQL result to see if that user actually exists with that ID so if somebody puts the ID in the URL of ID equals 8 million it would just show a blank page so I fixed that to make it to where it says the user you are trying to access does not exist on our system press back that way the user sensing whether or not that user ID actually exists to render the page out which is a smarter way to do things I just didn't add it to the system before because there was just tons of other things going into it and I wasn't thinking now that's number three number four we added the latest release of the jQuery library that's pretty self-explanatory like I said on all the pages that would make sense to put it I placed it so I added the jQuery library so people contributing to web intersect software 
will have it available to them as they contribute as they build things uh... what do we got five i added the uh... let's see a change the home page random members oh that's pretty self-explanatory too open scripts home page random members i touched on this earlier i changed it to where it doesn't look for just members with pictures it shows any members that have joined whether they have uploaded a custom picture or not in version 1.2 you can go and get this same name file and switch it out for this one and you'll have a script that shows only pictures uh, only members with pictures sorry and that's that and the last one is uh, we fixed the delete function for the logout so that was here in edit settings parse edit settings parse I fixed the uh, I put a, a last condition in here to say because uh, if they put in a, they tried to delete their account is that the one yeah if they tried to delete their account in the form if they put in a password that wasn't their password it wasn't correct for their account the page was just blank and I never noticed that so I put in a condition to say if it's not their password it it spits out your current password did not match what we have on file for you try again it gives them a link to try again so I added that so it wasn't just a blank white page and people are like what the hell's going on you know and uh, the cookies were also remaining on logout so not on logout on delete so when they deleted their account I added where did I put it here if their delete choice equals yes we use the code that we use in the logout script similar code to make sure they're logged out when they delete their account because before it wasn't actually logging them out and they still saw their name was gone up top in the right but they had the account button and everything and it was just weird functionality you know they should be logged out and then sent back to the home page or something so that's the way it works now everything good now, I'm sorry that was so long and drawn out, but those things had to be discussed so people who are following the tutorial series don't get lost in what I've done to make version 1.3 and to turn the whole thing into a software system that has no proprietary software in it. It's all open source. Like I said, we're using PHP, MySQL, HTML, CSS, and jQuery, JavaScript, which is all open source software what we have now is web intersect is poised to show how to create private messaging systems profile commenting systems so when you go in somebody's profile we can have commenting box here where other members of the site can comment to this user uh... we can have private messaging systems we could have uh... a forum i would like to build a forum and so it show how to build a forum and things like that uh, you know all kind of things that popular social networks are doing nowadays a friends system I just built a nice friend system at uh, develop PHP that requests it sends a, a, a message out to the user who's requesting the user who's getting a friend request and they have to accept or not so it's a nice neat little system all I gotta do is put pagination into it and I also want to add pagination to the web intersect series for all the various places that might need it which coming up soon the whole site's going to need pagination here and there okay so now we have version 1.3 which is showing you some security fixes making it all open source uh, and a few other beneficial things that I did I went in and fixed uh, I, you know I read off the list to you now we're poised to go further with the system and rather than people copying what I'm doing they can help me add to what I'm doing instead of making redundant material kind of overlapping each other in our in our lessons we can do a more focused thing and have one big giant great system instead of a whole bunch of different little systems that would be confusing people learning at develop PHP or web intersect so I'm not gonna allow anybody else to promote their other little systems from web intersect or develop PHP for social network and community training 
it's web intersect all the way nobody else is visible to me in that regard for just that subject I'm going to be getting into creating new applications for it real soon like forum private messaging co profile commenting whatever all that stuff but first what I want to do is show how easy the system is to download FTP to the server change a couple of things in a couple of scripts I'll just go by the installation instructions that I added to the system you'll see here that there are no trimatum holds just no trim me that you'll definitely want to take in and the installation instructions this is important because it shows you exactly how everything you need to change and then upload FTP things to your server and that's it you have a system where people can join you can join test it out whatever and we'll be taking things a lot further so thank you guys for sitting through that I know that was a long one and a bunch of blah 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 not much action but that stuff had to be discussed for people who have been with me since the beginning of this tutorial series okay we'll see you next lesson where we'll have a a demo of me installing the system like I was somebody a noob to PHP who didn't know anything I'll show you it's that easy to use and put up